welcome back to my channel it's Caitlin Runyon and today I'm going to be styling my living room for fall <laughs> if you're new here welcome to my channel I'm super excited to have you I make videos on home decor homemaking and lifestyle and it has been I think over a week since I've uploaded a video and that's just because originally I was gonna film this video but we got a new couch, if you can tell from behind me, <laughs> that was not planned. And so I started filming and then we got a couch and then I had to redecorate and reorganize. And so our living room is a little bit messy, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to go ahead and do a film or do a clean and decorate with me. Um, and so let's go ahead and get on into it. And just so you know, at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you guys an update on our nursery as well. We got the last of our furniture in there, so I did a little bit of organization as well as went ahead and painted some of the wall where the mural is before we put the board and batten on. So I'll go ahead and do a flyby of some of that as well at the end of this video. Um, but otherwise, let's just get right on into it. So we're going to put some coziness on the TV before I start cleaning everything up. First thing I do is wipe down our TV stand so we can put some decorations on here. And I'm sticking with a really simplistic theme this year. Again, just adding a little bit of color but keeping it simple so I can maintain it. First thing I do is add some pumpkins to this right corner of um, my TV stand. I add this green one from Target, this brown one that my dog chewed on the top of <laughs> from Hobby Lobby, um, and then another white one from Hobby Lobby. And then I also add in this little canister. It's wood and it was hand carved. I thought it was pretty and went well with the neutral tones. And then this little leather pumpkin as well. I also add in this pick from Hobby Lobby that I got, I think last year, the year before. I just think the color is really neutral and pretty and I thought it went well with all the other colors that I used just to add in a little bit of light colors to this corner. The other side i just keep my stack of books on here and add this pick it is similar to the other one on the other side it's just a rust color so i thought it'd be pretty um, to contrast that with the white books and then the bottom i keep it really simple by adding some books that we had on hand some old ones and then an, a new bible um, i went ahead and add these to the bottom shelf and then stack some pumpkins on top of them um, I stack this glass one from Hobby Lobby and then this ceramic one from the Target Dollar Spot that's like a nice pretty and rust color. I thought the white with the rust was a really pretty contrast. This corner I start by wiping it down and then I add in this um, homebody book with the Magnolia magazine on top and then I start layering in some pumpkins like first is this one from Hobby Lobby I believe um, and then I also add in these two pumpkins, one is from Target, the ceramic one's from Target from the Threshold line, and then a white one that came in a, bas or a bag from Hobby Lobby. And I thought the colors together were really pretty, and I messed around with them until I liked them. And then I add in this brown glass bottle. I really love brown glass for the fall. I think it brings in a lot of warmth. Um, and I'm gonna add some nice um, rust-colored florals to these. Um, these I had I got from Hobby Lobby last year. They come in like a bag of dried florals of different colors And I just used the red ones because I thought that they were really pretty and fall-esque I like that these give this corner a little bit of height and dynamic Then I added in a candle of course this scent is so so yummy. It's from Hobby Lobby. I believe it's the buttery pumpkin 
and then I added our marble coasters. Moving on to this little corner on the other side of our couch, I add in this photo that I like to keep on this side table from our wedding and then this cute little ceramic vase with some cotton tails from last year from Hobby Lobby. The vase is from the Hearth and Hand line from Target. And then I add in two small pumpkins, both of them, um, well, the orange one is from the Target Dollar Spot from last year. I haven't seen them this year. And then the white one is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just go ahead and add the rest of our coasters to this side as well. I just want to keep it again simple and clean and pretty. So that's it for this corner. And last but not least is our couch. I start by um, organizing our pillows and putting our extension cord back into the couch since this is a new couch we had to find um, a way to still use that outlet in the back um, and this pillow is the first one i style it is from thre the threshold line for fall this year from target i just really liked the light um rust color i think it's really pretty for fall it just has that plain rust on the back as well so you can use it either way i just liked the texture of the stripes and you'll see later that I um, kind of play around with those three in the corner and rearrange them. And then I add these two to this corner. Again, add some color with the rust stripes. That one is also from the threshold line from I think two years ago. Um, and see, I'll go ahead and play around with these. I wanted to see more of the red, so I went ahead and switched those pillows. And then this corner, I wanted to add in a little bit of color, so I kept our um, green blanket and just kind of made it feel a little bit cozy by laying it on the side of the couch just kind of haphazardly and then I just go ahead and layer in the pillows um, to keep give it a nice and cozy little feel for this corner of the couch I really love this couch. I've always wanted a sectional because I just think it brings in more seating options. And then on the wall, I just wanted to add in one more sign. So I just go ahead and reorganize these because I wanted to keep up the R and then our wedding photo. Um, but, so I just go ahead and add in this autumn sign that I made last year. Um, there's a DIY that I'll link in the description if you want to know how I made that. Um, but it's really simple, really easy. And I just, I wanted to keep it really easy to change out for Christmas as well like I said um, so I'm just adding that in and then reorganizing the other two signs below it and if this is your first time stopping on my channel I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by I know there are a ton of fall decorate with me videos to watch so thank you for hanging out and watching mine. Um, I hope you like it. And if you do, I'd love to have you stick around by hitting the subscribe button below. Um, but otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. And then in this corner, I go ahead and um, change up some of these blankets. I just add in the ones that I have on hand so they're more neutral toned um, with whites and taupes and grays, but I thought they were pretty and cozy. I love keeping extra blankets on hand, especially during the winter time. Last but not least, I add in this pillow that was originally on my bed upstairs. Um, it's just green striped from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, I thought it was a really nice addition to this cozy little corner. And last is just to sweep up and then we are all decorated in our cozy little living room for fall. <laughs>
Also, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the nursery of where it's at. We recently got the rest of our furniture for the nursery and I painted some of it as well um, for where the board and batten is gonna go. Um, so if you like that kind of thing of baby themed nurseries, decorating for a nursery, all those things, <laughs> then keep watching. But otherwise, thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.